What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Platinum Edition DLC Let's Play video here on the Xbox One. I still kind of can't believe I'm playing on Xbox again. It has been so long, so long. I know you guys have been waiting for me to make my return to Xbox, and, well, here it is with the Platinum Edition DLC. And we are going to rock out some canola harvesting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. First thing is first. Uh, yeah, buddy. We're going to borrow some money. Money, money, money. Mon oh, no. Go back down. There you go. All right. Let's borrow as much money as possible. Because you guys know... <gasps> I love borrowing other people's money, spending other people's money, especially. It's kind of my my favorite pastime, you know. Just saying, there's there's something fun about going on to, uh, say, our open farm sim server on the PC, and uh, you know, going on there occasionally and just like, all right, I'm gonna spend all your guys' money. <laughs> there's something fun about that. I won't lie. All right, so we need to look at a combine, guys, is what we really, really could use. And I, I need to get some mods on here. I really do need to get some mods on here. You know what? Should we go look at mods real quick? Let's do this. We're going to do this real time. No cuts, no edits, nothing like that. We're going to save our map, maybe. We're going to exit our map. Well, maybe. We're going to go into mods we're probably gonna have an issue with that music actually that's playing but that's okay it's pretty quiet and look at mods i don't know what ooh, we're gonna need the the big m eventually uh the fence wouldn't be bad the fence or the roster mash that's really about it uh the doits let's you know what let's uh let's get them all why not why not let's get them all um doing this all real time let's get the big m as well because why not? Okay, but that looks like, yeah, that's pretty well it. So there's that. Now, I think we're going to actually have to restart our game. So maybe we will download these and get back into the map. Actually, should we look at any other mods real quick? Uh, I wanted to look at placeable. Uh, not a Christmas tree, no. I really kind of want seed and fertilizer um a viable kind of like i'm using on there we go that's the exact same one I'm using this one on rattlesnake so let's get that in here as well and we should be good to go so let me get all this stuff downloaded and we'll be back in the game in a minute all right so we are back in the map now boys and girls after a couple minutes i uh what did I do? Oh, I went and found a YouTube video I started watching because it was taking forever to download. And uh, started watching this dude that, um, what was he doing? Oh, he's a heavy record driver out of Missouri on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Cause you know, I kind of live in Missouri. So I was like, that's, that's kind of neat. All right. So what do we really want to spend? How much money do we really want to spend? I don't think we can afford the fan, the big fan. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. definitely not going to go for, well, we could actually, ah, the Deutz, the Deutz could be cool. It's, that's like a throwback to farm sim 13, right? $249,000 for that. How much is the head? Cause we do, we do have the money. It looks like. So, um, yeah, you know, 34, how wide is that? That's only 7.6. Oh goodness. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's do it. I mean, it's better than what we're running now, right? So let's go ahead and purchase that. And then it looks like we're still going to have a little bit of money left over. So that's always good. Right? Always a good thing. Um We don't we don't we don't want We'll do that. Why not? All right. Maybe. Um okay. All right, it is kind of throwback to uh, a little bit. It's a little weird looking, but it is a little bit of a throwback here, guys, to uh, 
farm sim yesteryear, I guess you could say. But hey, it's good we got another had another come by. We might as well, especially for this harvest with canola. Um, we can definitely keep up with two. Definitely keep up with two combines for now. So that should be good. That, that's definitely going to help us out um, quite dramatically. Let's just be real about it, you know. That will be very, very nice to have another combine rolling in the field. And uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Got a got a cab. You know, looks like a looks like a cab. <laughs> right? Looks like a thing to me. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a thing. Oh my god. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a tree there, guys. Did you know that? And, uh, yeah. Actually, this combine is looking pretty solid. Not gonna lie. This is my first time seeing this combine. I honestly have given up on uh, mods for this game, in a way. Um, I have been thinking about and and tempted to get back into the whole like mod showcase mod spotlight mod times with john whatever you want to call it that kind of series uh i have been flirting with the idea of getting back into making mod videos you know but to be perfectly honest the mods that are coming out for farm sim are terrible outside of the occasional mod like the grain bag mod, which actually looks really cool. I haven't downloaded it yet or anything. I haven't looked at it, I haven't used it, nothing. But outside of something like that, it's like the stuff that's coming out right now is total garbage, to be honest. And that's not like a shot at the mod makers. It's just, it's hard to make videos of mods when there aren't any good ones. You know what I'm saying? It's very difficult to make videos when there's no good mods. What do I have in my hand? I realized I got like a splinter or something in my finger. All right. Anyway, so two combines definitely going to be better than one because, you know, it will be. So there's that. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to make a promise after the last video. A, I'm not going to talk about YouTube stuff anymore, but B, B, I'm going to try not to drive in the crop at all. And I say try, because it'll probably still happen, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to play this a little bit more, shall we say, legitimate, I guess. I don't know, realistic-ish. I don't know. I am very guilty of driving in the crop, um, especially lately more than like ever before I've kind of just my my care level has gone down my F words given I guess you could say which oh we probably just got in trouble by YouTube you know what I mean you know what I mean though right I, I've kind of not been caring about that as much as I used to and I, I need to I need to so we're gonna try not to as much as before anyway so yes, so when I get a mostly full load here, I will go ahead and hit to, or head to the homestead there, finish filling up the trailer and then take it to the train. Cause we do have some in the storage there. We can probably just go right now even. Let's just get it done. Isn't there a fence down here? Yes and no, maybe so, definitely. Definitely, maybe so. Wait, does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, so next uh, harvest, because the sugar cane does take more than a day to grow. So next harvest or so, the sugar cane will be ready. So that'll be fun to harvest that. Um, like I said before, I don't know how much sugar cane harvesting. Oh, there we go. Storage is actually empty now, so... We'll go back to the field before we uh, run this load. But uh, I, I really don't know how many times I'll harvest sugarcane. I, I cannot see myself harvesting it, like, a lot. I could see a couple times, may maybe. But that's probably going to be it. I would like to get the giant case uh, harvester. 
Uh, maybe not purchase it, but I could see leasing it for a harvest or so. Good, this combine's working out just perfect right where I wanted him to be. So I can empty him as well without having to drive in the crop. So yeah, that's good. That is good. But yeah, I can see leasing that big boy. I don't see buying it. It's expensive. It's 300 something thousand dollars. So there's that. But anyway. Anyway, anyway. Oh, you're, wow. You, you had more than you than I thought you would, Mr. Man. All right, we do need to plow these two fields together, and that will happen in the future. We actually do have money to pick up a plow. You know what? I kind of want to run that V-plow if I'm going to plow at all. I just, there's something about those V-plows that I just love. So I will have to go searching through the mods after this uh, video is done. Recorded for that, because no time like, you know, when there's no crop in the field to go ahead and plow. And we do have money to pick up a plow at this point, so there is that as well. I just, I don't know, man, those V-plows are so awesome. They work so, so well. And uh, as of, well, I think I already talked about that in this video, but I, I'm still waiting for you guys to kind of tell me how I should do all the settings as far as plowing, fertilizer, Stuff like that. I, I am relying on you guys to let me know. So there is that. But I'm recording before, you know, even episode two has come out. So I'm trying to get ahead on this series just because, you know, if I happen to get sick again or... Oh my god, really? How did it get set to that? Well, I'm going to be here for a month. <laughs> but basically with everything going on in my life right now between mom being, you know hospital and a rehab and eventually coming home and taking plenty of time to you know spend with her and everything else going on i need to get ahead on my series as much as i can so yesterday was rattlesnake today is right here on the xbox and then tomorrow real life i will be recording um a couple of the planes and simple map as well so there is that there is that but those are i don't know i love i'm all about the planes and simple map right now um honestly i'm into all my maps i'm playing it i don't know rattlesnake is the one where the more i use course play the more it like legs and almost crashes my game every time now um, and depending on what I do with course play, for some reason, course play, when it comes time to empty combines, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. It throws a hiss fit on, on Rattlesnake. But that's, you know, planes and simple, it runs fine. I don't quite understand it. Outside of the fact that, well, Rattlesnake is a 4X map, and it's pretty demanding, so I understand it, I guess, from that aspect. But, uh... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm having a good time on pretty much all the maps. Rattlesnake would be the one. But I, I feel like it happens a lot when you start a new... When I start a new map, I always am like, oh, ugh, I'm playing X map that, you know, is quote-unquote old at this point. And I'm like, oh, I could just start a new map, you know. But it's like, I guess you, you get one thing that's quote new and shiny and you want... All your other maps to be quote unquote new and shiny you know what i'm saying i don't know if it makes sense but it makes sense in my head so you know we started this map we started planes and simple planes and simple is probably the one that's doing it to me more than anything because uh, i am i am all about that map i love the stevie maps i love the uh the way he builds maps and everything and 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 whatnot so i am all about the planes and simple right now whoa pipe you gotta keep that in mind for future. Get farther away, stay back a little bit as well. Probably. That's okay though. We probably won't keep this combine long. I could honestly see picking up another smaller, or bigger than this, but smaller combine like the Deutz, another one, or a Fent maybe. Picking up something instead of going right to the big one. Pick up something mid to smaller size. Would be kind of nice. So there's that. But yeah, we'll get the V-Plow. I'm um, assuming it's still in the mod hub. 
because it's been a long time since I've used it. And uh, I don't have any mods downloaded on the Xbox outside of what you guys watched me download earlier. Combines and placeable seed and fertilizer. Uh, I know this seed and fertilizer, it costs more money to use those. However, however, you're paying for convenience and it's going to be quite convenient just to have it sitting here in the homestead, you know? In fact, let's, uh, no, we won't purchase them yet. We will purchase them later, but let's use up what we have first, you know? We do have some stuff here in the homestead we can use up first. And actually, let's see. Um, let's just turn all this stuff off for now so that we actually use the stuff. Cause I don't know. I like using the stuff. I do. Uh, loader work. Oh boy. Oh boy. Loader work. Not too scared of it actually. All right, for now, that's good enough. It's pretty full. We should get him going, though, because he does take a fair bit of time to uh, plant everything. So get him rolling, keep him rolling, but we do need to do some plowing before he gets too far over there. But uh, that is okay. We will get to that in the next episode. And I guess we're ready for the... Oh, my goodness, you're filling up. But you're harvesting so much. I guess we're ready for that. I'm, I'm not sure this video might actually be a minute or two short, but... Uh, because I, I really didn't pay attention to how long I was away when I cut. I, I really did a bad job at that, I won't lie. I was watching YouTube, sorry. My bad. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another uh, Platinum Edition DLC from the Xbox One. We will continue this harvest and hopefully do some plowing in the next one. Until then, I'm your boy John from Pumplaw. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure you guys hit that like button for more. Subscribe with notifications on if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.